The government has caved into public pressure, expanding the Royal Commission beyond just the abuse of children in state care. It will be the largest Royal Commission ever undertaken in New Zealand. It will cost almost $79 million over four years, including more than $15 million for counselling and related support for participants. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern made the announcement this afternoon, saying the scope of the inquiry has been broadened to include abuse of children in religious institutions. Extending the scope so the inquiry includes faith-based institutions was one of the most strongly argued issues in the consultation process and it is important to this government that we listen to the voices of those victims. The inquiry will be now called the Royal Commission into Historical Abuse in State Care and in the Care of Faith-Based Institutions to reflect its extended scope. Its terms of reference will be released this afternoon. I also want to be clear though that in broadening the scope, we remain committed to fulfilling the expectations of those who sought the inquiry into state care. That's why we have asked that the first interim report of the inquiry is focused on state care. That will be reported by the end of 2020. A separate report will then focus on the care of children in faith-based institutions. The Royal Commission's final report will be submitted to the Governor-General in January 2023. 